In this Helix Minute, we'll explore the Poly Pitch Effect. With the Poly Pitch Effect, you can completely alter the tuning of your instrument, as well as use its time-based pitch controls for trim bar dive effects. Poly Pitch uses polyphonic pitch shifting, so chords and solos track nicely without any garbled notes. To start using Poly Pitch, navigate to the Pitch Synth category from the model list. Knob 1 labeled Interval is used to adjust the pitch in semitones, or half steps. For example, to set the pitch to go to a perfect fifth down, set this to negative 7. Knob 2 sets the pitch of the effect in cents, or 1 one hundredth of a half step, when fine tuning is needed. Knob 3 labeled Shift Time determines how long until the pitch is shifted when the block is enabled, while Knob 4 determines the trajectory curve of the pitch shift over the shift time. Knob 4 defaults to linear, but can be adjusted to one of the start slow settings where the pitch shift starts slow while speeding up towards the end of the cycle, whereas the start fast settings is the opposite. Knobs 5 and 6 are similar to knobs 4 and 5 as they determine the pitch return time when the block is bypassed. To have poly pitch follow the tempo set in Helix, press down on knob 3 to adjust to note values. For this example, I'll select a quarter note, and I'll keep knob 4 set to linear so the shift follows the tempo evenly. Now let's take a listen to what we have. Now let's press page right to access more parameters. Knob 1 labeled tracking can be adjusted per playing style. Stable offers tracking that's ideal for sustaining chords and playing rhythm, whereas fast tracks the quickest for speed picking and soloing. Knob 2 labeled auto EQ applies a compensation EQ curve to smooth out any extreme pitch changes or artifacts that may be present. That's it for this Helix Minute. Please visit line6.com for more in-depth videos. Thanks for watching.